Hi guys, welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a footer that sticks to the bottom of the page. Okay guys, so here we are in CodePen. We're gonna work in here today. Uh, as you can see, we've got this little bow up here. And this is what we're gonna make. Um, I've got some of this already set up for you so you don't have to write all the code here. We're not, we're not bothered about the header and stuff like that. We're just on about making this footer, about a footer stick to the bottom of the page. So as you can see at the moment, there you go. The footer's right at the bottom. It's kind of as it should be, right? Now, if I go to the editor page of CodePen, you can see when it doesn't have enough content, the footer is floating. Now, if I put a bit more content in here, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in again. You can see what happens is yeah, the footer is down at the bottom of the page. So that works well. But if I return it to what it was, you can see the footer is floating. So we're going to fix this, and this is something you'll do quite often. So I'm going to drag up my CSS, and this starter code will be in the description below. So don't think you, you haven't got it all, and you don't know where to start, and... How do I do this? You haven't shown me. We're not bothered about, I'm not bothered about you learning all the things in here. It's just this photo section that you need to pay attention to. So here we go. If we go to, uh, yep, we'll go to my star code here. You can see it's a lot different actually. So what I want to do, show you guys first is, let's make this main section all centralized and nice like it was in the other one so we've got a main tag here that holds our main content and i'm gonna just i'm gonna remove one of these sections here so let's go to our css and write main so we're opening the main tag here and we want to restrict the width of it because right now it's going left to right and we kind of want it to sit in the middle in a restricted width area. So let's do that. So we want to say the, the max width it's allowed to be is going to be, um, let's say 600 pixels, right? And let's see what that does. Right, okay. So it's kind of restricted itself, but it's not central. So what we want to do now is say margin zero auto. And what this is saying is saying we want zero pixel, or sorry, zero um, on the top and bottom, zero margins, and automatic on left and right, which would mean it would be the same, which is why it goes into the center. So that's looking pretty good. Let's let's make this footer actual actually come to life a little bit so we can give it a color. So Let's give it a background color of the same color we've got in the header. So I'm just gonna steal it from up in the header CSS here. Uh, it's EBBD28, if you just wanna type. Uh, it's looking a little bit thin, so let's give it a height. Let's give it a height of 50 pixels. Looking better. Now let's centralize that text. So let's text hyphen align center so it's now going to centralize that footer and let's give it a little bit of padding right so say padding 20 pixels oh if you notice it actually made the footer bigger so if i comment it out you notice how it's gone thinner and that's because we're adding 20 pixels top bottom left and right 250 so actually the height now is 90 because 20 top 20 bottom and 50. So all we need to do is we actually need to use something called box size in border box. So box size in, box hyphen size in, border box, born in hyphen box. And what that effectively does is says, hey, padding, um, just be part of the 50 pixels. Don't add yourself to the 50 pixels, just be part of it. That's what it does. So we're looking pretty close now. The photo is still floating. So what we need to do is we need to basically say to the main, we want you to be in charge. We want you to take all the height you need, but you actually need to give some for the footer and 
for the header. So how we do that is using something called calc. So we want to set a minimum height. So we want to say the minimum you can be, so that's if we have less content now, it doesn't matter because it's, it's the minimum I'm allowed to be is this value. So we're going to use VH. Now the problem in this context and using VH is you can see the foot has disappeared. And it shouldn't disappear. It should, when there's not enough content, it should be visible here right at the bottom. And what's happening is viewport height, this is the viewport. So we're saying from the yellow and, yellow and black here where it meets to the white and the black here, that is the viewport height. That is the visible page that the user can see. And there's VW as well, which is viewport width, just for, so you know. And this is basically 100% of the visible page, visible viewport. Now, that's not good enough because actually the header takes up some of it and the foot wants to take up some of it. So we can use calc, which is calculation in CSS to actually give the main section, so I'm gonna say calc, 100 VH, to give this main section its height, it needs to work itself out. So it needs to work its, its height out minus the footer and the header. So the footer is 50 pixels and the header is 70. So that's 120 pixels. So as you can see now, bam, that's it, we're done. This is basically saying, I'm a 100 viewport height, a view height, but I'm also minus the head on the footer because I need those to be on the page with me. So now if I copy one of these sections again, give it a paste in, you can see the footer has jumped off the page, but as we scroll down, there it is right at the bottom. So it's not going to, when there's less content, it's not going to have white space underneath it. It's going to stick to the bottom of the window when there's not enough content, but when there is content, it's just going to jump down. It's just going to go do its thing down at the bottom of the page. Um, just like that. So I hope you guys found this video easy to follow. It's a quick one, um, but this is something you'll use very, very often when you're working. Um, there's multiple ways of doing it. There's a few different ways, but I quite like this one. I quite like being able to use calc and work out stuff. You can use this calc on other stuff as well. It's very interesting, very cool way to do things, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Please subscribe and like, and if there's something you um, want to know, something maybe you, you want a tutorial on, just drop it in the comment section. Um, I'm going to read all my comments. I'm going to be here for the first hour after the video has posted live so I can um, comment them all and I'll keep checking back. So um, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.